in this video we're going to focus on date formats that are different than the standard date that we have. So for example in this case we're going to use this date format and figure out how we can apply this specific date format in here so that the skills will nicely work here and will show the dates as well. And this can be seen as a challenge but let's start to explore how we can put them on the x-axis here right now. In this video we're going to focus on one of the viewers question which is how to use a date format other than the standard year month day in chart.js. All right, this question came from one of my other videos about how to show labels of every quarter with large data sets in chart.js, which is quite interesting because you learn a lot here about the scale and the dates. And then in here, Shubhangi Ingo asked the following. Hello, your videos helped me a lot. I have a question. How to use the date format other than year, day, month, I have dates with the format of day, month, year. And you can see here these columns, which will become which will become important. But the time or time series is not taking that format. All right, so let me explain here because this is really, really important. This here can create a big problem because this is also related to time settings. So let's start and work with it. And what we need to do is a few things. I'm going to show you two options here eventually. So what we're going to do here, first of all, is going to create a chart quickly. So we go to chartjs3.com, then go to the chart types. Oh, sorry, not even the chart types. We have to go to the getting started link. Go to the getting started link and then in here, just copy this chunk of code. And if you want to understand this chunk of code, please check out this video here that explains the JavaScript related to it. We're going to paste that in here. And once we paste it in here, I'm going to just cut this out and move this in here. This is for me. This is for the title. Save that. And there we are. All right. So now we have a chart. Here. Beautiful chart. And let's start to work with the, the structure that you had here, which is this structure here. I'm going to copy this. So, and as I copy, I'm going to show you, I'm going to work here in the JavaScript. So I'm going to assume you get your data somewhere. And this is an important thing. Here. This here can create confusion. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you two ways how we can solve this. But the first way, which is the easiest way, might create an issue because of this specific uh, structure. So the official way in JavaScript is to use this structure. Year, month, day. All right. So this is the standard structure you should use always so if you don't have the structure what you basically need to do is first to convert it into a readable structure and from there on we can work with it so what happened if you have this well let's start to create a very quick array so i'm going to say here this will be my constant and i will call it the date array nothing fancy and then here we're going to put in seven values basically and this seven values could be anything well let's say here um if I follow exactly your structure here, there would be, make sure that this is a string value here. So let's say 3, then 11, standing for 3 November, and then 2021. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this six more times. That's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right. And then we say here, 4 November, 5 November, 6 November, 7 November, 8 November, and 9 november all right so we have these here we have here seven items so this here will be eventually stored in here basically these labels here will be converted into this so what we could do here we're just going to say this equals that and there we are so save this and refresh you will see here it works fine but in reality you have an issue here first of all the skills doesn't understand that this is a date format because we didn't use anything with date format so far. We just copy this and this is just a string. So it doesn't understand what's going on here. All right. So what we need to do here is first convert this. So to do this, we need to use the date FNS. All right. There's an adapter. So we go here to chart.js and then we go to ecosystem here. So you go from chart.js.org to ecosystem. And then in here, we can scroll down, you'll see the sunglasses here, and then we're going to look for the adapters. It shows here the adapters, and then what we're going to grab is this one or that one. These two here, do not use this. This one is being deprecated because they're not updating anymore. 
since 2020. So don't touch this. Chart.js is gradually removing support for this already. So we're going to grab this one, the date FNS. It's fine, you can choose any of what you want. I'll just get this one for now. And if we scroll down here, we can search it for the latest link here. That's this one, or this is the link that's fine here. So we're going to grab this, and what we will do is here, we're going to paste it. Remember, and this is an adapter, so this is dependent on the chart.js library here. Make sure you load first the chart.js library and then the adapter. Uh, adapter date FNS or else it won't work because this here needs to load this first all right and then, uh, and then afterwards of course you have to make sure you have this code after all of these things being loaded or else you will get a trouble as well so now we have this here so what we're going to do here now is we're going to convert this here in the scales we're going to work with it and say in the scales we have now a date structure so it will recognize now we have an official date so we so saw here in the X scale because we want to focus on this specific scale here, because right now there's still nothing here, of course. And then we say here the following. We're going to say here, we're going to say type, and then we indicate the time, but this is a string. So once we create this, basically what we created is an object, a time object, and then we say here the time object, what we need to do here, indicate the following. We're going to indicate the unit. So what are we going to work with here is the date. So we say here, uh, unit will be, not date, sorry, it will be day, all right? And then we have here the day indicated. If we save this now and refresh, we get an issue here again. And the reason why we get this issue is now because the item, or it doesn't recognize the structure of the date. It only recognizes one structure of the date, which is this date here. If we would convert this into that, into, well, let's say here, let's make this um, very simple. I'm going to just only do one. We say this uh, month, that would be, uh, this would be 11, and then we have here 3, all right? So if we only convert this one here, and then we say this date array, let's comment this out for now, save that, refresh, we have this working, all right? So here it recognizes it, but we don't want that. We still struggle with this, so what we need to do is this here. All right, so what we can do here is the following. We're going to use an option here, and this option sadly will not work well for you. And I'm going to show you exactly why. So we're going to say your parcel, and then we're going to put in here the structure of it. So what is your structure? Well, basically your structure is this structure. So we're going to copy this structure, and we say here now day, column, month, column, year. All right. We save this and then refresh, and now it works. You might say, but if we pay or look closer or pay careful attention here you can see here the date the time is 12 11 all right and then here again 12 11 so why is it 12 11 well first of all it is 11 because it recognized this is here it has an issue here and you can see here why is this not showing now it's the same story because we have a structure of here we want to do a unit is per day and this here is the day but because we have here now it surpasses the day officially, it's 12, 11. It doesn't recognize it anymore. And why is there down the 11 minutes, or basically it's 12 hours, 11 minutes, zero seconds. So why is this 11 minutes in here? Well, it's because of the column here. It has a hard time to understand this. If this would be any other structure, slash, it could be a slash, it could be a different structure, you probably have, have no problem at all. So in your case, this, easy solution or quick fix is not the ideal solution for you all right so maybe if you're able to change your database I would say just change that to a dash and then you could solve it here all right but that's now sadly not your case all right so don't worry there's another way to do it so what we need to do in this case is to convert whatever we have here into the readable official JavaScript structure so we could do two things. We could just say uh, we're going to replace these columns with dashes, or we're just going to convert it back to an original structure like this. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you that. That's probably the best way to do it. And the reason why is you can reduce the amount of code also in here. We could even remove the parser here. Having it parse here basically would mean to it needs to re, uh, basically look through all these values and reread them into a right structure. So having that done. 
in advance, it would be far better than doing it during the code. So what we're going to do is here the following. We're going to use here a, or we're going to create a new array. So we're not going to adjust this original array. We're going to say here constant. And then we say here, I'm going to grab this, let's say new date array. Or maybe here, maybe uh, parsed date array. All right, so that's probably more proper name because basically we're not going to make anything new. We want to duplicate the array, but then in the readable version of JavaScript. So how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to make a blank array and then we need to look through every item here. And of course we cannot use here a manual way because imagine you have a database. I assume it comes from a database and I assume the database works with a certain structure here, but definitely try to figure out you can solve that from by default. It will save you a lot of issues here right now. So what we're going to do here is the following. We're going to loop through this parse array. And then we say here, this parse array, and then we say for each, and we're going to create a function here. Let's say uh, the parse function. I have no idea. I'm just making it up. And then in here, we say we want to trigger this parse function for every item we have. So then we say here function, and I guess parse function here. And then we say here for every date. So we're going to say here for every of these items here, and this item we will name it as date. For every date. What we will do here is basically loop through them. So we say here, we're going to loop through this, convert it into a readable item, and then we're going to parse it or push it into this array here. Just to make sure you understand what we're doing here is we're going to say here, we're going to grab, um, we have this here. Oh, sorry, this is not correct. Sorry, we need to get this original date because we get it from this date here. We're going to get it from this. And then we say here, parse, then we say a dot, then we say you push, then in here, we're going to grab the date here. So this date, every time we have a date here, we want to split it. Basically, we want to split these values into three separate items. So basically, what we're going to do here by splitting it, we say here, com, oh, sorry, dot, split. And what are we going to split here? We split it based on the column. So in reality, split just basically says, from this, we're going to make now, 0, 3, comma, 11, comma, 2021. All right, so that's it. So basically, it's like an, like an array. But then what we want to do here is what we are going to do is we want to reverse this year with the day. So eventually, we'll say the following. It must be eventually in the order of 2021, comma, 11, comma, 0, 3. So it's just like a mirror reflection. So we're doing a reverse here because the month here is already in the right position. That's why we can do this. So we say here dot reverse. And then what we do is we're going to join them again back together. What are we going to join them or how are we going to join them? We will say basically this. Every comma will be converted into a dash. And that's what we're going to do here now. So we say join. And how will we join this? By a dash. So once we have this, we push it into the array and then we'll look through it consistently and then we have our new parse array here. So if I do a console log, parse, save that, refresh, open up the developer tab, we can see here now we get the array converted in here, which is beautiful. And if you would even add up another item here, you will see it will automatically grab that as well. Save that, refresh, and there you are. Beautiful. All right, so now this works. Final item, what we're going to do here is eventually get this parsed array data or data array or date array. Sorry, that's the right term, parse date array. That's the right term I gave it. All right, so if you're going to save it, we're not done yet because we need to undo this one again. So we can just remove that, comment out, save that, refresh. And now we have our dates here. You can see here no more 11 uh, in time. We can see November 3 is being shown now and everything works nicely. So if I change this here, we could even change it with another date here. And let's make this, uh, or we can even add one. I'll just add one at the back here. And then we say here 10, I'm going to remove this one here. Let's see what happened now. Save that, refresh, four, there we are. And this is basically what you can do to solve your issue. All right. So. If you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to learn even more, because 
if you're going to use these dates, you want to combine them usually with these. These dates are usually combined with multiple values and data here. How will that eventually work? I always recommend, and in many videos I recommend it, and I recommend it consistently, understanding data structures and charges is very, very important. Do not underestimate this, because this, you can combine these data all together into one. So if you remove one, it will be very easy. Watch this video, it will help you a lot more in going more advanced and combining data.